Okay, if the school board would uh, please like to come down and be, have a picture taken with the kids and Noah, that'd be great. I guess I can't call you kids anymore. Um, let's see. How should we do this? On Carrie, side, help maybe? me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, maybe just to the side. We're going to have to squish in. It looks like we like each other a lot. Yeah. You, could do, the, you could do the sideways yeah. thing if you want. Sideways. Turn sideways. So all of you will be on CNN tonight. Parents, I want to tell the parents, thank you for sending your children to Seattle Public Schools. And with that, you're free to leave. Again, uh, congratulations to our uh, valedictorians, our students, and our parents. Thanks so much for coming tonight. And thank you again to Noah Purcell for uh, honoring us tonight with his presence and his remarks. With that, I'd like to move on with our uh, next recognition. Uh, we still have a couple more recognitions to do tonight, and we've got a group of South Shore students waiting to uh, perform for us. So. <laughs> All right, our next recognition is the Seattle Housing Authority. We've been uh, recognizing our premier partners who stand shoulder to shoulder with us in educating our youth uh, and partnering with us in so many ways that we can't do on our own. Uh, Seattle Housing Authority has about 6,000 of our students uh, in public housing and they have just been wonderful partners standing beside us in terms of talking about the importance of student attendance and other ways we can support students. 
So with that, I'd introduce uh, James Bush, who's going to come forward and uh, give a little bit more of an introduction. Good afternoon, board, and Dr. Nellian, thank you for the opportunity to recognize another one of our premier partners. Uh, Seattle Housing Authority is the largest affordable housing provider in Seattle. SHA provides subsidized rental housing and rental assistance to nearly 35,000 people in Seattle who are low, low income. In addition to providing high quality housing, SHA offers students and families an array of programs to help them meet the needs beyond just housing. Seattle Housing Authority provides housing to one in 10 Seattle public school students, and they are spread out through almost all of our Seattle public schools. SHA and Seattle Public Schools are working together to improve educational outcomes for those 5,500 school-age youth who are so served by birth, both organizations. SHA is critical in our partnership efforts to eliminate opportunity gaps and ensure that all students, especially those who are served jointly by, by both systems, have access to an education that prepares them for college and career. We are proud to have SHA as a partner and to ensure all students have success, access to high-quality education that prepares them for a college, career, and to thrive in Seattle. We are pleased that both SHA and SPS have benefited from cross-sector hiring by bringing staff and their experience into new positions. Due to this position or partnership, SPS has recently hired Kathleen Pananen, who serves on my team, and our, as our first housing uh, education manager. And we're grateful to working with Courtney Cameron, who brought her experience in Seattle Public Schools to the Seattle Housing Authority. Tonight, we are joined by the SHA team and their executive director, Andrew Lofton. Please join me in welcoming him to the stage to share a couple words and, and a brief slideshow. And we will take a picture after the next recognition, which is the, the nursing group. Uh, thank you, thank you, James, uh, Dr. Nyland, and uh, school board members. Thank you very much for this opportunity to address you. Uh, we are honored to be recognized as one of your partners. Um, it is a distinct honor of ours um, because the relationship is a very special one for the Seattle Housing Authority. Um, we, in our strategic plan, education of our residents is a premier objective for us. We recognize that education is really the key uh, pathway for uh, individual and uh, family success. Uh, and um, we are um, committed to doing all we can to give our uh, residents the opportunity to excel um, in the classroom. This partnership is special to us because we both have come to the uh, realization that we have a, a very uh, distinct common goal. Uh, and that goal is the education of our children, um, the improving the academic achievement uh, that those children have, and creating a pathway for their success. Um, this is a unique partnership. It's one that is um, um, uh, a leading um, uh, partnership that is uh, being replicated throughout the country. Um, we are one of the national, this partnership is one of the national leaders um, uh, throughout the, the United States. And um, other school districts and housing authorities are learning from our experience and creating those same partnerships in their own communities for the same purpose. Um, as James indicated, one in 10 of our re uh, student residents are uh, uh, students in, in the Seattle Public Schools. Um, Two-thirds of our uh, families uh, live in public housing and about another third live in our tenant-based uh, voucher program. Um, students uh, are enrolled in all uh, Seattle public schools uh, throughout the city. Um, this map um, details the uh, schools in which our students attend. Uh, this map looks very similar to the housing uh, that we own and manage uh, that is also throughout the the entire city. Um, the, um, in, the interesting part for us is that um, as the students, the families that we serve uh, that are, um, have students going to uh, your, your classrooms, um, they earn about $17,000 um, uh, uh, of uh, area median income. That compares to the area median income of families in the city of Seattle of $111,000. So you can see they are very um, um, 
low-income individuals, but they have the same um, dreams and aspirations as everyone else does, and education is really a pathway to allow them to achieve those. Um, this partnership has been in existence for a couple of years. We've been able to um, register 500 students in the college-bound scholarships. We've awarded over 40 college, college scholarships to SHA youth. Um, we've also housed five homeless families um, as part of our pilot program, Home From School, in which we are identifying um, in conjunction with um, um, uh, family support workers um, at the school um, for homeless families that are attending Bailey Gatzer Elementary School, and we've been able to find homes for five of those families that started the school um, uh, started, started the school year homeless. Um, this is a, a picture of um, a four students, uh, four of ten students who we awarded uh, what we call Dream Big scholarships to this year, um, um, and as you might recognize one of those students uh, was just up here as well as a valedictorian, uh, Nia from Franklin High School, um, was awarded a scholarship um, as she's one of the uh, residents of our, our housing. So we're extremely proud uh, of Nia. We're extremely proud of all of our, our students who have um, uh, been uh, working diligently to uh, uh, improve their, their academic performance. Uh, at the bottom of the slide, you'll see just a picture of one of our um, housing projects. Um, and we try to do this um, in a way that's very thoughtful uh, to recognize the needs of families um, as we produce new housing for, uh, for low-income um, individuals and families throughout the, the city of Seattle. Um, so as we continue this partnership, our goals are to continue to work with the Seattle Public Schools to close the opportunity gap, um, to work with uh, uh, the Seattle Public Schools, and we focused on um, in the coming uh, this year and the coming years, uh, creating a pathway that we can work with our students to make sure that they improve uh, attendance. Obviously, attendance is a big factor in uh, success in school, um, and we want to make sure that our students have the best possibility for success as possible. So we're going to be emphasizing that along with the uh, uh, Seattle Public Schools, so the message. Um, gets to our students and they definitely will be able to take advantage of all of the things that are going to be uh, offered um, in the classroom. I want to uh, also thank uh, Dr. Nyland and his staff uh, for their um, openness um, and willingness to work with us in creating this partnership. Um, I thank the staff that are here from the Seattle Housing Authority who actually do the work. Um, I want to acknowledge them as well. And again, just appreciate um, your um, openness and willing to work with us and partner with us uh, for that common goal of improving the education outcomes of our students. Thank you. Thank you again. Uh, just means so much to be able to work together with you on a common goal, so thank you. Um, actually, we uh, recognized uh, Seattle Housing Authority at a regional superintendent's uh, meeting uh, this last week and uh, introduced them to our colleagues throughout the Puget Sound area as our, one of our premier partners. So again, thank you. We're going to uh, go on to the uh, nurses uh, recognition and then we'll come back and do uh, photos for both. So um, May 10th was uh, National School Nurse Day, and um, we have some very, very special nurses joining us tonight. Uh, we've heard about nationally board certified teachers. Uh, we're going to hear tonight about nationally certified school nurses. So welcome and congratulations, Thank yes. You. Thank you very much. Um, I want to present three of our superstars. Um, one third of our school nurse core is nationally certified and tonight we have three new members of that rarefied group. We have um, Amna King. Here you are Amna. We have <laughs> Lynn Carveth. Yeah. 
And we have Liz Coe. I just want to say a, a few words about National Board Certification. As I said, one third of our nurses have gone this extra step to pass their National Board exam. School nurses continually work to expand and deepen their knowledge to help students cope with and overcome health barriers to learning. I want to congratulate these three nurses and all of our nurses on School Nurse Day. Stay here. Uh, we will uh, we'll invite the board down to congratulate you. Take a picture. After we're done with that, we'll do a picture with the Seattle Housing Authority. And after that, we'll ask the board to sit in the audience and hear the presentation uh, from our students. Good afternoon, everyone. I would like to um, welcome the production team from South Shore who was involved with our school musical this year, Aladdin Kids. Uh, I'm Mr. Schlichting, the music teacher, and we have Ms. Coulter, Ms. Thompson, and Ms. Tyler who are part of our production team. Uh, our musical was possible through a grant from the Disney Musicals and Schools program and the Seattle Theater Group who provided assistance. Uh, this year was the second year of that grant implementation and we performed The Jungle Book last year. This year our production was Aladdin Kids. Um, our production was back in March, so it's been at least six weeks since the kids have been on stage. And if you've ever been in productions, you know there's a little bit of a learning curve uh, involved with that. So in just a very brief uh, rehearsal, we've tried to bring back uh, some of the production numbers. We're glad that about half of our kids were able to participate in the performance this evening. Um, I'd really like to thank the parents who were um, flexible enough to work with such short notice and bring the students down here tonight. Uh, we appreciate your support. We appreciate other staff members from South Shore uh, who are here to support as well. And a big thank you to our cast members for being here tonight. Uh, we would like to present three of the songs from our musical. Uh, one song uh, is called One Jump, then Friend Like Me, and then the finale from the show. So please welcome South Shore kids. Uh, these are third to fifth graders, by the way, in uh, their Aladdin. Look at all. 
On behalf of the school board and your audience, you guys rock. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I'm going to pass the microphone around. I'd like your staff members to tell us how long they taught, their first and last name for staff members. And when we get to our extraordinarily talented students, first name and which grade, and you pass it on, okay? Thanks, guys. I am Tracy Thompson, and I was the director of the play. Uh, this is my ninth year teaching. I'm Lee Coulter, and this is my tenth year teaching, and I was a choreographer. I'm Laura Tyler, and I was a producer, all about the money to me, and, <laughs> and it's my thirtieth year teaching. <laughs> I'm Richard Schlicksing, I'm the music teacher, and I'll let you do the math. I started teaching in 1977. My name is Eub. I'm in the fifth grade, and yeah. My name is Nathan. I'm in fifth grade. My name is Jamel, and I'm in the fourth grade. I'm Diego. I'm in the fourth grade. I'm Charlie, and I'm in fifth grade. My name is Ellery, and I'm in third grade. My name is Maya. I'm in fifth grade. I'm Finley, and I'm in fifth grade. I'm Lucas, and I'm in fifth grade. My name is Kylie. And I'm in fifth grade. My name is Sanaya, and I'm in fifth. I'm in third grade. <laughs> My name is Annika, and I'm in fifth grade. My name is Layla, and I'm in fifth grade. My name is Lan, and I'm in third grade. My name is Gabe, and I'm in the fifth grade. My name is Solomon, and I'm in fourth grade. My name is Raina, and I'm in fifth grade. My name is Lena, and I'm in fifth grade. My name is Maya, and I'm in fifth. I'm in third grade. <laughs> Thank you. Can we give these folks a standing O? They earned it. It's what it's all about. Thank you ever so much. Just think of every one of our children. All 53,000 could have an arts and music experience every school day of the year. Thank you.